Sir John Floyer, the 3rd of March 1649 to the 1st of February 1734, was an English physician and author. Topic: <laughs> Early life. John Floyer was born on the 3rd of March 1649. He was the third child and second son of Elizabeth Babington and Richard Floyer, of Hints Hall, a since-demolished country house. Hints is a quiet village lying a short distance from Lichfield in Staffordshire. He was educated at the University of Oxford. Career <laughs> 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 He practiced in Lichfield, and it was by his advice that Dr. Johnson, when a child, was taken by his mother to be touched by Queen Anne for the king's evil on 30 March 1714. As a physician, Floyer was best known for introducing the practice of pulse rate measurement, and creating a special watch for this purpose. He was an advocate of cold bathing, and gave an early account of the pathological changes in the lungs associated with emphysema. Topic: Personal life. Floyer was married to Mary Fleetwood of Lichfield, a widow, in April 1680. Their son John Floyer, c. 1762 was a Tory member of Parliament for Tamworth from 1741 to 1742. He died on the 1st of February 1734. Topic bibliography Pharmaco Bassanos, or the touchstone of medicines, discovering the virtues of vegetables, minerals and animals, by their tastes and smells 2 vols, 1687. The preternatural state of animal herners described by their sensible qualities 1696, an inquiry into the right use and abuses of the hot, cold and temperate baths in England 1697, a treatise of the asthma 1st ed., 1698. The Ancient Cyclausia Revived, or an essay to prove cold bathing both safe and useful London, 1702, several editions 8 vo, abridged, Manchester, 1844, 12 mo see online version below. John Floyer and Edward Baynard, 1715. Cyclausia. Or, The History of Cold Bathing, Both Ancient and Modern. In two parts. The first, written by Sir John Floyer, of Lichfield. The second, treating the genuine life of hot and cold baths, exceedingly long subtitles by Dr. Edward Baynard. London, William Innes. Fourth edition, with appendix. Retrieved the 22nd of October 2009. Full text at Internet Archive, archive.org, The Physician's Pulse Watch, 1707-1710, The Sibylline Oracles, translated from the best Greek copies, and compared with the sacred prophecies. London, J. Nicholson, 1713. Retrieved the 22nd of October 2009. Full text at Internet Archive, archive.org. See also, Sibylline Oracles article. Two essays. London. 1717. Retrieved the 22nd of October 2009. Full text at Internet Archive, archive.org. The first essay concerning the creation, ethereal bodies, and offices of good and bad angels. The second essay concerning the mosaic system of the world. Nottingham, 1717. An exposition of the Revelations. 1719. An essay to restore the dipping of infants in their baptism. 1722. Medicina Gerocomica, or the Galenic art of preserving old men's healths. First ed. 1724. A comment on 42 histories described by Hippocrates. 1726. Equals equals notes. <laughs>